I wish I could mount my camera so that when we go on drives, we can just talk. I got a new book. Actually, two, but this is the one I'm starting with. Here's my dilemma. I'm going to be in a new location. Not a typical plein air spot, but it should have good views. Kind of like this, but a little bit higher. It's been pretty gloomy lately, but I think it'll warm up, so we should be fine. I have my palette, some different options for panels. Kit is still packed up from last week. My biggest expectation is probably struggling to find a composition that I like. There is constant change around us in big and little ways. I tend to focus on the change of weather, the lighting, how my experiences evolve even in the same spaces. There's a lot to notice and observe and a lot that will go unseen and forgotten. I hate to admit how sentimental I can be knowing that many days will become blank in my memory. The things that I do remember were held longer in my attention. The more I look at the world, the one right in front of me, the more that I become my experience and deepen my identity. I have this view that I could do kind of as a square composition with a lot of sky. Or I did this loose sketch of that view. For some reason I really like the poles sticking up on the corners and those buildings in the back. I want to do both. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to prioritize yet. I ended up choosing this view. Something about cropping this light and having the other four in there too is interesting to me and sets up almost like a space. I am having some trouble trying to lay it out in the drawing. I think I just need to spend more time on it. It's a little windy. Even here there's smoke in the air from fires. Not a ton, but it was pretty obvious driving back here that in the distance everything is very faded out. I worked a little bit on this. The drawing was frustrating me. And I wanted to get the angles right, so I said, screw it, I'm going to finish up here at home. I do have a little bit of a ground color, just something cooler up here, slightly warmer in the front. I'm going to read, try not to stress about a million things, and tomorrow it'll be better. It's still a little bit smoky today. Got plaid on. I'm starting to work on this sky color. What I'm doing is looking through a tiny viewfinder to separate the color from everything else, which helps me determine how close I am. And now that I've done some of the bottom portion, I'm looking a little higher in the sky and mixing up my next color. I can worry about what is the right scene to paint or thing to do today, but there really is no right or wrong in that sense. So long as what I chose to do was done with care and observed diligently, what can be gained from that depth is infinitely more important to me than the what's that will be gone from my mind in the years to come or even tomorrow. I felt small on that parking garage, lost even, looking at buildings I have never been inside and know nothing about, watching little people walk by or waiting for the bus. I envisioned myself floating higher in the sky until I could see my family's home a hundred miles away and my location all at the same time. I had to choose the direction I wanted to paint, but nothing felt very familiar, except for my sky. The same sky that's always been there, my endless fascination for looking up seemed like a safe bet. Lots of good progress today. I'm pretty happy with it. Obviously I have a bit more to do, but I could do that tomorrow. Now I'm just packing up. I am loving this piece. My teacher compared it to Diana Horowitz. 
just because of the softness, the atmospheric feeling going back into the distance. But right now, my main focus is getting started on my homework. Because of the smoke, I don't want to work outside. Plus, I really like this picture. And because the assignment is in palette knife, this is probably a good option considering all the openness. I struggle with covering the panel when I use a palette knife. So I'm doing kind of washes and a little bit of the drawing in paint underneath. I may or may not have just drank a lot of coffee, um, so my hand is shaking all over the place, which is not ideal for painting. Oh no, this is looking lobby. I don't know what angle to approach this with. Oh, we have something that looks like a line. Oh no, this is just life. One more day of class to get this finished. I'm probably going to focus on doing the light poles and the ground. It rained this morning, so the parking garage is looking a little wet. I was going to paint the ground, and now the ground is a completely different color. Check out those clouds, though. I'm almost ready to get started. I just need some paint. And I'm kind of debating if I should include those clouds, have this section be more blue. Many situations are temporary, yet they dominate the mind as if it will never go away or get better. We feel stuck too easily. Painting outside helps me move away from that attitude to notice how small I am compared to the shifts in the landscape. I can't hold on to a color or the lighting from one second to the next. It forces me to see the movement in everything, around me and inside me. I am still learning to take things in one at a time and not make assumptions about their certainty. There is much that I can create just by changing how I look out into the world. I really like the volumes in this one. We did it and I have a great piece because of it. Very happy with this piece. I spent a lot of extra time getting colors right and choosing a composition that made me happy and was challenging. It's hard at a site like this to pick what you're going to paint, but I love it. So will I remember today? Probably not. But my paintings will still exist, and the person I became while staring at the world will be there inside me, each day becoming more colorful and experience. A nice little 4th of July rain and a rainbow. Oh, I made a friend. Okay, follow me. I don't want to grasp so tightly onto how this moment should be. I need to trust that the days add up and in the meantime, there's too much to look at and learn from right now to be in any other headspace. Committing myself to each day and the places I'm in gives me the opportunity to make it something more for myself and for others. Looks good. Wow. Wow.